What's going on guys? Alain Gonzalez here, MuscleMonsters.com and welcome to another Sunday vlog. Um, I know I haven't done one of these in a while and it's simply because I just felt like no one really cared to watch them. Um, but then I got an email or should I say a message on my Facebook fan page by a Muscle Monsters team member. His name is Lee and uh, he asked me about them. And I quickly realized that although everyone might not want to watch it, some people still care to watch it. So I figured I'd give it another shot. And I'm about to go to the gym. It's push day. I'm going to get some footage for you guys. I just took my creatine. Uh, I typically take it in the morning. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter uh, when you take it. If you care to know anything about creatine and you want to know all the truths about creatine, I'm going to put a link in the description to an article I just wrote and a video that I just did about it. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys soon. What's up guys? Alright, well what you just saw was my overhead pressing from today's push workout and it was my one of my waves from today and if you haven't seen my other push workouts you'll uh, or if you have then you'll notice that um, I'm doing a good job in my opinion of keeping my strength throughout this cut and speaking of a cut this is why I wanted to make this portion of this video. Alright, a lot of the time being a naturally skinny guy who struggled to put on any weight, we kind of get scared of cutting fat um, or losing weight because we feel like we're going to lose all our muscle and we're just going to end up skinny like we were in the beginning and so on and so forth. But what I want to do right now is just give you guys a pretty funny analogy as to how to look at your cutting. Um, and this is an analogy that I just kind of came up with. I believe it was yesterday uh, when I was talking to my brother. All right, so so when you're when you're nice and full, you're bulking up. You're nice and full. You're getting good pumps in the gym. Your muscles are full, and you know you look good. And then you decide you want to cut. It's kind of like being clean cut and wanting to grow your hair out. All right, so your goal is to grow your hair out so that when it's long. You can do stuff with it, you know, you can, you know, spike it up, you can even braid it or, you know, whatever it is that your goal is to do with your hair, all right? But if any of you have ever grown your hair out or known somebody that has grown their hair out, then you know that in the middle of that phase, there is what a lot of people would call the ugly stage where, you know, it's too short to do anything with and it's too long to look okay, you know, you got the long sideburns, maybe your hair is growing out on the back of your neck or whatever the case may be, it just, it's just an ugly phase, 
all right you're just caught right in the middle it's too short or for this and it's too long for that and it's just it's just not a good place to be when you're growing your hair out so what will happen is you'll say shit this sucks and you might even cut your hair or some people will say fuck it you know I, I need, I'm growing my hair out so they'll continue to do it and then eventually they'll grow their hair out and they'll be happy because they're able to do all the things that they wanted to do with their hair now how does this pertain to uh, cutting it's simple when you're cutting um, there is a middle stage similar to the ugly stage that just plain out sucks and it's because two things number one you are eating less uh, and and you're looking a lot flatter so a lot of people will think that you know oh well shit now my shirts aren't fit, fitting me as tight around my arms my measurements around my arms is going down and I still don't have a six pack you're right in the middle where you're you're not big anymore because you are not to say depleted but you're not as full and then you're still not cut so you're stuck right in the middle all right and so you have to decide at that point that you you are keeping your eyes forward you know you know what the goal is you know what you need to do you need to get uh, into the single digit body fat so that you can be optimal for building muscle again and it's just something that most people will have to do all right so despite all the criticism you're gonna hear from people as you know oh you look smaller or are you losing weight are you still lifting or whatever the case may be just remember that at the end of the day when it's all said and done you're gonna be shredded you're gonna load yourself back up you're gonna look awesome and then you're gonna be optimal for building muscle and for me personally right now I'm in that ugly stage where um, I'm caught right in the middle I'm not shredded enough to have a bunch of definition and I look flat some of my clothes may fit me a little bit bigger nothing drastic yet but I know that this is something that I have to go through and it's totally normal even for a lot of people you know you might lose a little bit of strength in the process and it's just not good for your ego I guess you could say but you gotta remember to keep your eyes forward keep your eyes on the prize and just go through with it because I guarantee it that when you are under or in your single digit body fats uh, body fat and then you load up to get full and do everything that you need to do at that point uh, you'll be happy with the results and then from there when you're building back up it'll be a lot easier for you to put on lean mass which is ultimately the goal for most of us alright guys I hope that wasn't too much of a rant um, but you guys get the idea uh, and I guess I'll see you guys later peace alright guys I want to conclude today's Sunday vlog by telling you exactly what I'm reading at the moment as you can see or maybe you can't see I'm pretty much done with this book I got it last Sunday and I'll finish it today um, it's a great book by Uriah Faber um, it's called the laws of the ring and you might think that uh, well, first of all, let me just say that if you know who Uriah Faber is, then you know that he is a pretty popular uh, UFC fighter. And um, this book, although it talks a lot about his journey to becoming uh, a great UFC fighter, it, it really just goes over his entrepreneurship. And he talks about his 36 laws of power. And to relate to each of them, he gives you an awesome story about something that has gone on in his life with him, his training partners, family members, etc. And it's an awesome book. I recommend uh, anybody read it, even if you don't know who he is. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. I want to let you guys know also, in case you're not already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Muscle Monsters. Make sure to like the Facebook fan page in case you have any questions you want answered in my Ask a Line episodes. And that is facebook.com forward slash muscle monsters. And if you, like me, are trying to cut right now to get absolutely shredded, I still have my 21 day fast abs program totally free. I'll put a link in the description. Go there, put your name and your email address, and you'll get instant access to that. That's it, guys. That's my Sunday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.